Hello and welcome to another episode of Hunting with Pratsy. Okay, guys. The Sitka deer buck is slowly approaching. Seems like we have found a lonely roaming buck, but I have seen them in herds as well. So um, they pretty much are like hunting blacktail deer. And I think we are going for the rifle shot here. Okay. He's moving. Of course, I would prefer a broadside. He could actually still try to move. Oh. Oh, he is still good to move a little bit to the side. Okay, he's he's now definitely in bow range. So when he stops the next time, I think I feel comfortable to take a bow shot. Twenty six. Uh, we got a good shot in. I really hope this was a long shot. He's fleeing quite far. So this might have not been the best of shots. So I'm marking on the map where I saw him last. And now let's actually check out what kind of shot we got here. I don't think it was very good. Alone from uh, from the fleeing, there's more tracks. Okay, we got actually intestines, which is already better than I thought. And um, yeah, now it's just a case of tracking him down, and um, I'll take you back once I found it. Okay, guys, and we found him. Should be right there. Uh, it wasn't a far. He, he didn't flee very far, as you can see there on the hunter mate. And there he is. Sitka buck. Yeah, bad shot. Too far back it was because yeah he was walking and I took the shot anyway score 42.953 so uh, nothing special there but let's actually take a nice trophy shot and let's inspect him also a little bit close up yeah as you can see uh, the appearance is pretty much black tail, just the color of the fur and um, of course also the antler shape 
and size is different. Yeah, that might do. So that is the second new species that we found in this hunt. And I think it's now time for me to move all the way to the north and hunt some snowshoe hare and some arctic fox. Alright guys, here we are back again. And this time we are going to hunt the north of this new reserve. Um, looking for snowshoe hare and foxes basically. But you never know. Might also find some Sitka deer and uh, maybe even moose and bison. You never know. So I changed up the weaponry a little bit. Um, we've got the 22 Pilkington um, rifle. Also took the um, 223 uh, Anschutz for foxes, of course. And um, just to be sure, uh, got also the El Toro, the 454 revolver. And um, just to show you quickly in the inventory, also got the crossbow with me. So we really are set up for anything that could come across. Um, yeah. Of course, uh, for a Sitka deer, we only can use the crossbow, but that is not an issue. I think we are capable of um, doing our best with this. All right, so let's get into it. And um, while we are loading the weapons, um, I can actually show you this really cool um, part of the new reserve. It is these floating, um, yeah, ice rocks or ice. Um, yeah, it's just it's floating. Um, yeah, ice floats actually, and um, you actually can walk across those. So this is pretty interesting, and I think, I mean, just once you think that you have um, told all the new features that we got, um, it doesn't seem to stop. So, okay, my goal or my plan is to actually walk along this this part here uh, to see if we can't find some snowshoe hare and foxes mainly. So I'll be back with you once we uh, get into the first action. So see you in a bit. Okay guys, I have just heard the call and it's an arctic fox. Alright, awesome. Now, let's set this up. Um, it's quite far away. So uh, I want to be sure that I'm not going to move away too much. Um, if this rock would be climbable it would be awesome, but it doesn't look like. Nope. Doesn't matter. Okay, I think I'm gonna stay here and I'm gonna call the fox to somewhere in front here. Maybe like... Maybe like here. So I'm moving back again. Uh, the call for a fox lasts pretty long, so 
There's no need to call again for this one. And um, I'm hoping I'm not too close for that one. But yeah, 23 meters seems decent. Yeah, it should be okay. All right, let's equip actually a crossbow. And very important, um, let's reload it. Um, what I have found out with the Arctic Fox is that they really like to roam in uh, groups of two. Often uh, a male and a female. So it really makes sense to... Um, oh, there. To have a silent weapon just in case. There it is. And it is the male. Or a male. And it's a white one. Uh, they actually also... Here in um, yeah, in a color variation that is called blue. Um, I was hoping that we get lucky and find one of those, but doesn't seem to be perfect. He's just on the calling, and he's he's also calling. And we hit him, and actually, there was another one. Yeah, we just saw him fleeing. Uh, this one seems to be down. Yes! So, a quick look at the hunter mate. It's 8.40. So we will try to get this other one as well. And I'm going to show you how we do that. But first of all, we can collect this one. In the meantime, it was actually a long shot. Yes. And I think with this um, fur feature, I think the Arctic Fox is done so amazingly well um, I mean just look at that this has so much more depth than all the other animals with no fur feature of course from very very close up you can still see that it is some some kind of different texture and not really a fur but some kind of layers, but still, it's amazing. So we got a score of 10.840, and we got his left lung. Let's take a nice trophy shot with that one. Whoops, oh, come on, there we go. Really nice animal. And now, let's take another look at the hunter mate. It's 8.44 and now I'm looking for the fleeing tracks of the second fox. The plan is that we once we reach 8.48 we're gonna set another call for this one. And um, this should bring it back to us. It's a um, technique that I learned from Forced Health. 
who um, told me about this. Um, I have not quite mastered it and I'm also not too sure if it is working for the... Oh, I hear something. If it is working for the Arctic Fox as well as it works for the... or as good as it works for the European Red Fox. But I'm quite confident actually that we might pull this off. Just look at this reserve. Amazing. All right. It is 8.48, so eight hunter made minutes have passed. And I will just set the call now. On the second or third of his uh, fleeing tracks. Now, of course, just like last time, I'm going to move away from where I called into a position where I feel comfortable that I can actually get an angle on him. Wow, which is really tough here. We should move upwards. I hope I still have enough time for that. And of course this time we go for the rifle. Now it's just a waiting game. 